Hey everybody, my name is Alex with Hake Hardware, and in this video I'm going to go over Space Acres, which is a desktop farming app for subspace. Now this is relatively new software. It's built by one of the co-founders of subspace, Nazar. Hopefully I said his name correctly. Uh, this is alpha software, and it is great for Windows users who just want to start farming in subspace. You need very little technical knowledge. Really, you just need to be able to kind of navigate your directories in Windows and be able to install some software. So I have an article here, and it'll be linked in the description of the video uh, that goes over this su uh, subspace desktop farming app, Space Acres. So really the first step is to check out the repo. Uh, there's a lot of good information here, including a installation guide. So I recommend, you know, I'm gonna go over the installation, but if you wanna see all the nitty gritty details, you can just read through the readme yourself. So there's a lot of really cool information in here. And then it, right here's the installation information and you can see they talk about CPU and RAM, storage, you know, like you have to have an SSD or an NVMe, you cannot um, use like a hard drive with spinning disks, uh, that won't work. Windows, you can see uh, some information about the dependencies here if you run into those types of issues. And then you can install this on Linux. This is a Windows specific video. I'll do a separate one for Linux. Uh, but it's pretty straightforward and then i'm not going to go over mac because i'm not going to build this from source i don't know how to do that <laughs> so all right let's jump into getting it downloaded so what you can do is if you're on the repo here on the right hand side there's going to be releases and another reason why i recommend checking out the repo itself is because uh, like a couple days ago this was 0 0.05 and new things have been coming out pretty quickly with this. So it's good to just check the repo, make sure you're getting the latest version. Um, if you're in the releases, uh, see, see like 0 0.06 was six hours ago, and then five hours later, there's 0 0.07. So check out and get the latest. You don't want probably, if, if there's no pre-releases, I haven't seen any pre-releases, but make sure you know, you're know you getting the one that says latest and not any of the other versions or else you're, you might run into some issues. So I'm just going to use the MSI because that's what you want for Windows and you would just click it to download it. I've already downloaded it here, so I don't need to download it again. And once it's downloaded, you can just click to install and you're going to get uh, potentially like uh, a warning that says open executable file. Uh, it's an executable file. They may contain viruses. Uh, as long as you're getting it from the repo and you're sure, you know, Nazar-PC and Space Acres, then it's probably fine. Uh, you always have a risk when installing an executable. So I'm just going to accept that risk. Now, let me see if I can share. Uh, let's see. See if I can, oh, I can. Okay, so here is the installation. I just choose pretty much all of the defaults here. Um, you can see there's like environmental variables, shortcuts and stuff. I just use every all the defaults and just click next and then install to accept, uh, run this as a uh, admin. And then finally, you will just click run space acres. And let me now find the correct screen to share for this. Okay, here we go. So we're getting everything installed here. And one uh, caveat that I didn't call out earlier is that you do need to have a wallet address already set up. So uh, if you don't have that, you, you do need that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just get mine. You can't see it, I don't think. Yeah, it doesn't show, um, but I'm actually gonna go grab my wallet address here. And then what you're gonna do, it, it looks like there's defaults in here already, but you actually need to, all of these fields are required. So I'm just gonna paste in my wallet address here for testnet. 
and then we're going to select a node path and you're not really going to be able to see me select it because these pop-up windows don't show uh, but what I'm going to do is select a directory that I created on my C drive so just my username uh, and then a subspace directory and the node is what actually syncs the database and stays connected with the blockchain um, so it uses a, there's a state file that's a, probably about I think it's about 20 gigabytes so you need to have at least 20 gigabytes free I would say plan on more like 50 gigabytes uh, actually this little hint says 100 gigabytes so make sure you have 100 gigabytes free uh, now we also have okay cool um, so now we'll do the path to the farm now the farm is where you're actually going to generate the plot files and then you're going to specify how big of a plot file you want I'm going to go ahead and select a second drive. It's an NVMe. Remember, you need to have an SSD. So I have my D drive, which is just a one terabyte NVMe. And then I'm going to do 256 Gibby bytes on that. And you can see now you have this blue start button. That means you filled everything out correctly. If I were to like delete a few things, you can see it, it goes away. So once you see all of, uh, once you see this button turn blue, it means you can proceed and uh, this is I'm only doing 256 I'm just testing it out uh, but you can fill up as much as you want and note that as soon as this starts running it reserves the space so you're gonna see immediately your disk becomes more filled up you don't want to put more space than you have I don't think there's any barriers to stop that so uh, just keep that in mind make sure you have the space required and it's going to fill that space immediately it's kind of reserves it for plotting so we'll go ahead and click start you can see that's creating the consensus node and once this finishes it's basically running two processes uh, there's a node the consensus node up top here and then there's a farmer and this consensus node will need to sync completely all the way up to 698,000. Um, now, depending on when the network has last reset, you may not have to wait this long. Right now, it's about a day before this syncs fully. Um, so just you know, bear in mind you're going to be waiting at least a day. And then once this consensus node finishes syncing, the farmer will begin plotting. So your 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 farmer will just say waiting like to farm or waiting for node to be synced something like that there's a um a status but it's also it's going to actually do the piece cache sync well uh this is happening in fact the the i've noticed the node doesn't start syncing until after this piece cache is completed so just sit tight um you don't really have to do anything it's kind of just doing everything itself now if you're worried that things aren't happening yeah, if you click this, oh, you can't see it, but there's this hamburger icon up here and there is an about section. And in the about section, you'll see all of screenshots of this in the uh, article. In the about section, there's a system button all the way on the far right. And in that system button, there are URLs to where the log file is. So I'm actually going to open up the log file so we can take a look at it and you kind of see what's going on so let me find where it is and let me just resize this a little bit okay uh, give me one more second just to share it all right so I can expand this just a little bit here. Sorry about that. Okay, so we can see, you know, started Space Acres. Um, we can see, you know, that it's detecting some of my things. <laughs> it's uh, setting up the disk, and now it's getting ready to sync. So I, I get these errors all the time. I don't think it's anything to be worried about. Uh, so you can pretty much ignore those. Um, and you won't see these blocks per second start moving up until that piece cache is synced. At least that's what I've noticed. Um, and you can see the target block is 698,000 and the best is actually null, it's, it's zero right now. Uh, it's going to start increasing once you start syncing. So best means the, like your current block height and 
uh, target equals the blockchain's block height. So you'll still see like kilobytes and stuff going up and down here, but nothing's really going to start sinking until after that piece cache is done. So let me just hide that. Uh, we're almost there. Um, yeah, so I mean, there's not a whole lot else to go over. Uh, it's pretty simple. And depending on the size that you do, okay, so a little bit about space mesh while we're waiting here for this piece cache to fully sync is that you can plot like a terabyte, two terabytes, four terabytes, but since you're actually plotting blockchain history, as the blockchain grows, you're going to periodically have to replot because, you know, if the blockchain grows 50%, then your old, uh, plot files your sectors may become stale and and it basically makes these sectors become stale so that you're forced to download new parts of the blockchain and that way you're always storing a you know a good portion of the blockchain and everything uh, with the network stays healthy and it looks like before even my piece cache finished it started syncing up here so that theory is wrong but you can see now it's saying waiting for node to sync first so this is going to sync all the way to 698,000. Uh, mine's moving pretty good um, if we let's see if we bring the logs back up we can see now like the blocks per second are actually going up so we can see the piece cache uh, completed or well, 78% complete, but um, there we go. Finish piece cache. But these blocks are already sinking, and we can see. Uh, actually, I don't really see the best number going up, but um, it might be this. Who knows? I don't know. There's just some weird characters that aren't showing. But, anyways, um, so you might be able to use like four terabytes. But by the time you plot that four terabytes, you may have to replot like a terabyte of that. So even though you might be able to choose four terabytes, depending on your CPU and um, the size of the network, you may not be able to fully utilize that because you'll be stuck in a replotting loop. So by the time you replot that one terabyte, more plots have gone stale. So you have to replot those stale ones. And then by the time you replot it to stale ones, more plots have gone stale. So just keep in mind if you're, I don't know if it's gonna show in space acres, but you can probably check your logs and you can see that it's replotting a lot. That means you may want to lower the space you have because you're kind of wasting space at that point. You can always increase it later, although I'm not sure if you can do that in space acres. In the CLI, you can. Uh, but okay, so that is how you get space acres running. I'm not going to wait uh, until it gets synced. Once it's synced, it just uh, starts plotting. So uh, this is mainly just an installation video. And if you run into any issues, uh, I'm in the Subspace Discord. I'll link to the Subspace Discord in the description. I'm repost on there, though, uh, not Hey Hardware, although I'm thinking about changing my name. We'll see. Uh, anyways, hopefully this helped you, and feel free to let me know if you have any feedback about the videos, and I'll see you in the next one.